in September 2006, Australia woke to the news that they'd lost an election. And it had an outstanding impact on a lot of people's lives. And the person was Steve Irwin. As shocked as I guess everybody was, it probably didn't come as any surprise. It certainly didn't to me. I mean, I kind of figured that if you you torment enough animals for long enough, one of them's going to bite you. I guess I just kind of thought it would probably be a 20-foot lumpy back mud gecko, not a something as uh, insignificant as a stingray. I remember the effect it had on my son, oh Jimmy. He was only about eight years old at the time, and. Um, he loved Steve Irwin. It devastated him. I guess it was the first time he'd ever sort of experienced that kind of loss. And he had a, an action figure, a Steve Irwin action figure. It had a button on the back that you could push. I think it had three phrases that it would say. Danger, danger, danger. Crikey. And poised, ready to strike. This poor kid was sobbing away in his bedroom, pushing that button. And a couple of months ago, a lot of people experienced a very similar feeling. When Matt from the workshop had his channel removed by YouTube. I had, my inbox was going nuts. I had people contacting me. Did you know Matt's channel's been taken down? And nobody could get a hold of him and find out what was going on because he was in Facebook jail as well. You know, a lot of people seem to like old Matt. Not quite sure why. I mean, it's not his fault, I guess, that his eyes are on the side of his head like a fish. He must have to read the paper like this. Nonetheless, uh, people were devastated. I thought it was uh, the same sort of thing as Steve Irwin. You torment enough dumb animals for long enough and one of them's going to bite you. And we all kind of had our, uh, our own theories about who that uh, dumb animal might be. But alas, that wasn't the case at all. It was an acronym. <laughs> On the title of one of his videos around cross cross uh, cross plane crankshafts. He's got his own video explaining that, so I'm not going to and steal that but I guess it just goes to show you know we're pretty quick to point the finger and I was in there with them I thought I knew who it was never let the truth get in the way of a good story eh uh, the good news is that uh, he's back up again back up and running and uh, has been he was only he wasn't even shut down for a day but of course the frustrating thing is, and this is, you know, I'd probably find myself in a similar position if I had inadvert inadvertently copped a community guideline strike like that. Um, you go and you fall into the Google trap, so all your emails are Google, or Gmail accounts, and um, of course YouTube's Google, and as soon as they, they block you like they block Matt, you can't contact them. You need, a, you need to have another type of email address other than Gmails. You link it all together and it's all neat, nice and neat and tidy, but you've got all your eggs in one basket. And it's obviously uh, not a good idea. It was pleasing for Matt to see you know, the level of support that he has and um, love him or loathe him, he, he, he calls a spade a shovel. He makes no apologies for it, and, and all power to him. But his channel, you know, continues to grow with popularity. To grow in popularity. He deserves all the accolades he gets, I guess. So, onward and upward, Matt. Glad you're back online. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. And I'll catch you next time on Andy's Motorcycle Obsessions. Bye for now.